Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to Ionia VR Overview. I'm pretty sure I saw this game appeared a couple times on my feed, but I always assume it's gonna be just purely PC VR. So it's quite a surprise that it's coming to Quest as well, because essentially it's a graphical monster to really test out your PC. So Ionia is an adventure exploration game, purely claimed as a casual experience, because there's like no action going on and stuff. It's just you embark on a journey to travel through the Ionian forest and help mythical creatures and some nature with the power of music. I'm an adventure guy on YouTube, obviously, though because we are putting ourselves in the quest version of the overview, problem emerges that if you don't have a solid concept with accompanying gameplay, the graphics won't play a big part in experience, especially if we're talking about Quest 2, because it can pull off some nice stuff, but with the engine that they're using for cinematics and the PC build, obviously the game won't have the same vibe to it. Because it is set as a casual game, and you strip down like exciting or dynamic sequences, then it's really hard to convey what you envisioned with the project on the standalone. That's essentially why we don't have experiences like that. This overview will be kinda skewed, since I don't feel like it should release on the quest. But it is, so we're here to review it because that's our job, and I'm pretty sure for some compelling visuals and stuff, I would have to go to the PC VR version of the game if the quest build will be compelling enough to continue with the playthrough. I'm pretty skeptical it will, but we'll have to see. Also, props to the developers because they are one of the only ones that donate some percentage of of their proceeds from the sales to wildlife charity so I love seeing this stuff that don't focus completely on the business side and I would like to see it more frequently. Let's go to the gameplay. VR series? Does that mean we're gonna have like an episodic experience? Oh my god no, please no teleport. <laughs> I can't even spin, no slight movement. Oh, snap turn. No, please, smooth. No, there's no smooth. And I can't turn the vignetting while turning. Hey, this. At least we have Strafe, but uh, better than nothing, I guess. What is this? Is it gonna be updated in future or is it gonna be paid? What's happening? Let's start from this. Three years into the Locrian War. Why do I have to teleport around? <laughs> Lands fell victim to the demise, Salias Locrius. Ow. Ah! Shit, massive. <laughs> this is not a horror game, guys. For thousands of years. Modus Masters, the ones who control sounds and vibrations, have chosen one protector for each land. Ionians heard their elders speak of a harpa, the protector of the Ionian forest, who was deeply injured. But for reasons unknown, they chose not to send help. In Pangea, members of its youth possess a rare power to control the vibrations of the universe. This power forbids them from language, allowing communication to happen only through sounds. Finally. <laughs> Are we in an ape or something? I guess so. <laughs> what? Um, okay. What? It reset it? You can teleport while climbing. Yeah, but that's okay. Driven by curiosity to see the forest, two children. Allegra and high brother Allegro set out to secretly venture outside the sacred city's walls to save the harbor themselves. Oh, that's it. Okay, well, first episode of this. Well, they have video.
I don't get it, the only acceptable kind of video 2D in VR would be Senua's sacrifice, but... Okay. I can't believe Maestro Babaton didn't listen to us. Uh, we'll show him. Save the harbor ourselves. But we haven't much time to waste. And still technically aren't supposed to be here. So, follow me and do exactly as I say. Come on! Oh my god, I hate uh, snap turning. And I can't change my settings without just going completely back. What do say about the graphics? We have to teleport to progress, even though we have smooth. What? There's something like non VR mechanics that are happening. It's quite weird. What? As I said in the intro, it's not gonna be very much impressive. The only good thing is that there's like a sense of depth in the distance. Like it doesn't seem like a 360 image. It actually feels like an environment created by the game, so kudos to that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure PC VR graphics are just mind-blowing. It's so weird that I have to progress in the circles and then teleport to the to commence the sequence. What? Do we wait for something? The game blocked, what? So even the teleporting is broken if we have a strafe on... What the hell? <laughs> I guess I'll just teleport around to not break the game, but it's kinda weird, not gonna lie. Allegra, see if you can find a way to get this old lift to work. I'll search over there. Okay, we can climb here. At least that works. <laughs> Can we turn in the air? No, we can't. Okay. Oh my god, I hate this finite ink. <laughs> Should we just drop? Oh, there are horns, okay. Yeah. Um, excuse me. We good? How do I even guess the melody? Wait a minute. Have you noticed the Brasaurus keeps singing the same notes in a sequence? I think they're trying to give us a clue. 
Yeah, but how can I guess if it's not even the same melody? It's the same song, but... Try hitting one of the lower keys. It must be one of those. This is impossible, literally. Yeah, no, fuck this. <laughs> for some reason, I feel like this game was not made for VR, but then ported over. Because there's a lot of controls that do not trigger. The animations aren't perfect either. Her mouth doesn't move sometimes. The sliding movement combining with teleporting is kinda horrid and no option to turn the vignette ink when turning. Weird loading times in between the sequences in the same level. Like, I don't feel like it. There seems to be some pretty big production behind the project, but the execution in terms of this technique technical stuff is annoying like in 2021 I would not like to play with control scheme nor something that's like lacking in VR features what's the point of the game if it doesn't have that <laughs> I don't know maybe it's just my opinion but I'm definitely passing on the quest build I wonder if the PC VR is much smoother but highly doubt it